Hey, welcome to another episode of TK's Tech Corner, where we look at all things techie for the average user. So for today's video, we're going to look at an alternative for the Mevo Ethernet Power Adapter, also known as a PoE Adapter. For those of us that have looked into the Mevo branded adapter, you know that this adapter is pretty expensive and sometimes it's hard to find. There are third party alternatives, but a lot of these lack the full functionality that the Mevo branded adapter has, or you have to use multiple adapters to, ch to achieve full functionality. But I found a third party adapter that works with the Mevo start that will give you basically almost full functionality and it's just a little bit cheaper than the Mevo branded adapter. This adapter is the Airtane PoE. What this adapter will do for you is that it'll give you a hardwired connection and also power delivery to your Mevo start. It basically has all the functionalities as the Mevo brand adapter, except for one little caveat and that, that, that this um, adapter doesn't have USB-C in or out. But what this adapter has is that it has an ethernet port on one end. Let's see if we can get that to focus. And on the opposite end, you have a USB 3.0 jack. Now, with this particular switch, with, well, with this particular adapter, you have to have a switch that has PoE, power over ethernet. This adapter will not work with a switch that doesn't have power over ethernet. So let's just take a look at how I have this uh, PoE adapter hooked um, into this network. So if you take a look here, I have my travel router here acting as a access point. I have my iPad wirelessly hooked into the access point. And coming out of the access point out of one of the LAN ports, I have Ethernet cable going into my Ubiquiti Unify 8 port PoE switch. Um, now on this particular switch, the first four um, ports are PoE. The last four are not. So that's why I'm using this end going into the PoE switch, switch as an out for the router. And here on the first port, I have an ethernet cable and that is attached to the AirTame POE adapter and coming out of the USB port I have a regular USB A to USB C connector and that is going into the Mevo and as you can see the Mevo is powered on on the AirTane adapter is also powered on so let's look at this in the Mevo app. So if we take a look at the screen here. You can see here on the Mevo um, single cam app that it shows my Mevo here. And it also shows at the bottom of the Mevo an Ethernet direct link. That Ethernet direct link is the AirTane PoE connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here on um, Connect Mevo. It may take a little minute. All right. And we can see here that the Mevo is live. Now, what's unique about this particular um, third party 
uh, PoE adapter is that you also have power on and off through the USB. So if we go to the settings here, let me give you a full. All right. So if we go to the settings here for the Mevo and we scroll down to Mevo settings, if we click there, you have the ability to have power on and off with USB cable. With this particular adapter, you have that capability. So what happens is anytime the power is turned off from a PoE switch, it also would turn the Mevo off. Same thing if the um, Ethernet switch is turned on, then the Mevo also will turn on. So let's do a quick demonstration of that. So right now we have the Ethernet switches on. We see that the Mevo is also on. We also see that we have a link with the blinking lights with a PoE adapter. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to disconnect the power from the switch. And if we just take a listen and look at the light, the Mevo should shut down. So we see that the Mevo just shut down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug the power switch power plug back into the switch and the Mevo automatically turns back on. So with that, if you have your Mevo in a place where you can't get to it all the time to be able to turn it on, turn it off, to be able to, um, you know, take it down to um, get power to it. Now you can leave your Mevo in a stationary place and you can have a PoE switch running Ethernet to the PoE adapter and from your PoE adapter running a USB-C well, USB A to USB C cable to your Mevo, and you have full functionality of your Mevo cameras now. Now, the great thing about this adapter is that the same USB cable that came with your Mevo can be used with it. Um, I don't have it hooked up right now because that cable is is pretty long. So for the demonstration, I put on a shorter USB C cable, but you can use the exact same cable that came with your Mevo start and plug it directly into this this ethernet um adapter so the price for these brand new they range between um i've seen them at 120 to about one 160. so at the higher range they're about the same price as a mevo adapter but if you can get it at that 120 price you're saving a little bit a little bit of money but what I've also found that you can find these secondhand on eBay for even cheaper. Um, you have to do a little digging and a little, little searching, uh, maybe even a little bit of waiting to get a decent um, to get a decent price. But sometimes they do pop up on eBay um, as used. And that's how I got the couple that I have. A couple that I have, I bought them off um, eBay. So. With this adapter, I mean, you can't beat it. As far as the size um, that it is, it's fairly small and really slick compared to any of the other third party um, adapters that I've seen and use a multiple adapters just to try to get the ethernet, the data part, and also the power delivery. Um, it can become a, a mess. So I say, if you don't want to buy the Mevo branded adapter, and you want to save a little bit of money, go out and see if you can find one of these Airtame POE 
adapters and you should have full functionality um, just as you would with the Mevo adapter um, besides being able to power this adapter through USB-C. That is the only difference from this adapter and the Mevo adapter. The Mevo adapter, if you don't have a PoE switch, you still can power that adapter through a USB plug. But with this one, you cannot. You have to have a PoE switch. But if you have a PoE switch, you're all set. So that's it for this video. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.